Hello, Aquacasters. Welcome to a very, very special edition of the Aquacast. As you can see, hopefully, we have babies. We have tiny, sunbursted, platy babies in there, I swear. Believe me. Oh, there's one moving. See if we can get him from this side. Oh, there's a little guy. You know you saw that, didn't you? They're blurry, but what are you gonna do? I mean, they are like the size of half a grain of rice right now. Is is where they're at. Oh, there's. See, I'm holding, having to hold the camera up. You can see him moving in there. See him all. Oh, that that's a good shot right there. Probably about 30 of them. Feeding them brine shrimp. See, the way I got it is... See that little netting? They're going to stay in there until they're big enough not to fit in anybody's mouth. Like this big, big fella right here. These guys will eat them. This guy will eat them. These guys won't, but... Catfish, you know, you know he's in there. Catfish will eat him, and Sharky will eat him. He's, in, you know, he's in there too. Blueski will eat him if she could get to him. Wouldn't you, Blueski? Anyway, this is the state of the tank right now. We got babies. I want to show you a trick. This right here, big shout out. Big shout out to uh, Mike, Kathy, and June for this one. Back scratcher, probably a dollar in the in the line at Walmart. Watch this. Oh yeah, this is this is this is what we use right here. See, it makes tank maintenance easier. Man, a lot of food and stuff caught up in here. Especially for sand, you know, I've been I've been telling you you gotta you gotta aerate your sand. You gotta get the bubbles out. This makes it easy. For me at least. You got if you know you got a spot where the sand where the Food is getting stuck. Get in there, swirl it up, get it moving. The sand will move, but the stuff will not. I mean, the sand will move, but the stuff will just get kicked up. Get sucked into the filter. Hopefully. Try and turn the filter up. Oh, okay. A little tank maintenance tool right there. Thanks again, Kathy, for that. Now my tank looks doesn't look good. There's all this stuff floating around in it. I probably can't see it, but I can. It's getting sucked up into the filter, though, so what are you going to do? But that's the tank. I haven't really had the ability right yet to... Uh, haven't had the, the... Haven't been able to uh, do the... Aquacast in a while, you guys. Sorry, but you know, hopefully, I'll get a couple going this weekend, popping off for you. You can kick it up. I mean, they're eating it. The stuff that I kicked up, they're eating it all. So, I mean, that's good, right? Getting rid of it all. Yeah, it's the state of the tank. Everything is doing good. These plants right here are not doing good. These are like, I guess, basically an aquatic version of mother-in-law tongues. As you can see, they're all ghosty. The plant matter's been eaten off of them. From this little guy, this is who I see doing it right here. Baby Plex. Baby Plex right there. Maybe Big Plex is doing it too. But... Big Plek doesn't really move unless it's nighttime, so I haven't seen him doing it, but I hope I didn't bury Locher in there. Locher is a 
cool fish. I'm thinking once my uh, skirt skirt sign once that right there that's red that's a red skirted tetra. Once he starts dying and these uh, X-ray fish start dying, which should be pretty soon, I've had them for a year and I think their life is you know one to two years. So once they start dying, I think what I'm gonna do is my life is so cool. Yeah, get yeah. some loaches, get some different kinds of loaches, a bunch of different kinds of loaches. I think my tank's big enough to uh, give them all plenty, you know, make sure they all have plenty of space. So. Yeah. Turn the bubbles back on. I right? turn the bubbles off when I feed. And I give them some food so it doesn't create a ridiculous current. Make it difficult for them to eat. And it makes that uh, whatever that stuff's called, hog hogworts, hogs meat, whatever that is, makes that move around. There it go. But. That's the tank right now. Doing pretty good. Getting nice and clear. Clear it up, you know. Nitrates are starting to rise, but I mean the tank's been less than a couple less than a month. So my nitrates aren't being converted to nitrates yet, so or the other way around, I don't know, who cares? But it uh, it's really good, you know, I tested it, bring the water to the fish store. You gotta bring the water to the fish store to get it tested, get their advice. But, um, yeah, man. Tank's kicking. They're active. They love it. Plucky loves it. Plucky's swimming all around all the time, all at nighttime. I see Locher out a lot more. He likes all the sand. Everybody likes the sand. Man, there was a lot of food stuck in there. Anyway, state of the tank address. That's where we're at. We're kicking butt.